All right, here's the deal. Will's got to go back to the Philippines because he forgot some very essential things. But he's coming back. In 40 he's hours. coming back. Six countries, five flights, in 40 hours. So we got to take him to the airport. This is a rough vlog. I'm doing it all on my phone. Just that. This is a raw vlog. Check it out on uh, this thing. This is, look at this. This is my setup. That's his raw vlog today. This is my raw vlog today. We gotta handle some business. And then he's gonna come back. He's gonna just hop on the plane and come back. See you in two days. So, Which is probably see you in the next vlog because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm not gonna vlog unless you're there. Yeah. So uh, we gotta make our way down to Montenegro. First take Will to the airport, then we're driving to Kotor. Let's go, another country on the list, woo! Too bad, Will, you don't get a stamp in your passport. Sorry. We're just playing Tetris every day with our luggage in the back. Goodbye, Game of Thrones castle slash Dubrovnik. Goodbye. 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 have arrived at our house in Montenegro near the town of Kotor. We're about like a 10 minute drive away. Oh, wait, <laughs> gotta show you the house. Ooh, look at that view. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Somewhere in there, wow. Up, 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 always up. We always seem to get the rooms that are on the third floor so that we have the best view with the balcony, especially in Europe. You always wanna eat breakfast have your coffee, wake up with a balcony. Thanks. All right, what do we got here? Coat rack, thank you. <laughs> room tour. Oh my God. Is this my room or your room? Wow, look at that view. Oh man. This is so nice. Every room in this place. There's a bathroom on the other side. Every room in this Airbnb has a balcony. We got the breakfast table. Sharing a balcony here with the room. Look, there's a bench to sit down on the balcony, by the way, because uh, the balcony is this large. There's another bedroom. Where am I going? Where else does it go? I could do a dance number on this balcony. Look how big it is. There's so much room for droning too. You always gotta be careful about the drone. And we have the master bedroom. Oh, you guys have your own balcony, look at this. Everyone has their own balcony in Europe, watch that. Always watch the steps in Europe. Where would you like your suitcase, ma'am? In my room, please. Oh, it's got a bathroom. This house is just perfect for four people. 
I mean, you could fit more people in here, I think. People could sleep on the couches. Look at this classic fireplace we got going right there, but there's no point because it's about 26 degrees Celsius, which I think is like around 75 or 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm not sure. Plenty of room in the fridge. Plenty of coffee cups for the balcony, outside for, for breakfast. Beautiful window to look out to while cooking. Look what's going on out here. Growing all kinds of vegetables and fruits and wow, look at all that lettuce. Oh, look, there's chickens there. Someone's even got a pool. Like you can see that windy road, that's what people are coming down. Really is too bad Will couldn't make it to this part of the trip. He's always missing the really unique kind of out there destinations that people aren't really used to hearing about. I don't know, have you guys, anyone watching, have you guys ever been to Montenegro or even thought about putting that on your list of places to visit? It was more like since Montenegro was, I guess, on the way and we were doing a road trip, it made sense for us to drive from Dubrovnik to Montenegro. It's only two hours to Californians. Driving two hours is nothing. It's funny, people that visit California, they're expecting like San Francisco and LA to be a couple hours. It's like a, it's like an eight hour drive, pretty much, on average. Not on average, well, if you drive fast, well, whatever. It's an eight hour drive. In this drive, it's been two hours to every city, or two hours between countries. We went from Split Croatia to Mostar Bosnia was two hours, from Mostar Bosnia to Dubrovnik Croatia was two hours, and now we got Dubrovnik Croatia to, oh my God, where the heck are we again? <laughs> uh, um, Kotor Montenegro, two hour drive. I'm at this point where we've been in three countries in three days and I'm waking up every morning, like at the early, early morning, I wake myself up and I'm like, where am I? Oh yeah, and then everything comes back to me. But for a moment, I forget everything. It's like I got amnesia and I completely forgot where I am in this world. So, we are staying about 10 minutes from town, which means that it is time for me to get onto my laptop and figure out what we are going to do tomorrow, what we're going to see, what is there to see in Kotor, Montenegro. I have not looked anything up. I didn't even look photos up before we drove in. The moment we started driving in, you could see all of these like fortifications, walls right, like climbing up the mountain. I can see them, they're all over the place. Like here on the mountainside, I mean, there's just like fortification castle ruins everywhere on this drive so far around the Balkans, around Eastern Europe. There's just, you know, ruins everywhere all over the place. So I'm gonna get to figuring that out, figuring what the plan is tomorrow.